Now a big issue from the first day of the outbreak, both here and around the world, is getting hospitals enough protective gear and other equipment to handle the huge influx of patients. We got new updates this afternoon from the CEO of Kaleida Health on how its facilities are doing. Two on your side, Steve Brown has that exclusive interview tonight. Where we are right now is manageable. We talk with Kaleida CEO Jody LaMail about the current COVID fight, including personal protective gear or PPE and whether there's enough of it at his hospitals. We have what we believe is right now a manageable amount of PPE across the board. Uh, when we talk about where we're really good, we're really good on surgical masks right now. So we've had some success in surgical masks. Where we're a little bit light is on the N95s, which you've heard that from everybody. Uh, but you know, we've ordered more beds. We have every in the event that there's a surge, uh, we, we feel pretty good. Another hard to get item, ventilators. Governor Andrew Cuomo has repeatedly called on the federal government to supply more of the life sustaining devices to New York State. And for a time, Cuomo even ordered upstate hospitals to prepare to send their ventilators to downstate hospitals before the governor backed off that move. For Kaleida, we have uh, approximately 120 ventilators in total that we have right now. If there was a massive surge, and part of our surge plan was that we actually needed more. The good news is we're not using all of them right now, and that's a good thing. That's not a protective thing. It's a really good thing for the community. How long do you think you can sustain this fight? Currently staffed, current resources, how long can you sustain this? And we can survive for a couple of months. After that, I would be really nervous. Beyond that, Lomeo says hospitals will need financial help. Coming up at 6, Lomeo talks about the likelihood of a bailout necessary for the nation's hospitals and what the worst case COVID scenario looks like in his eyes. In Buffalo, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.